It's not the first time doctors have been at risk within the walls of a hospital. A few months ago, India witnessed the brutal rape and murder of Dr. Abhaya at a Kolkata hospital, which triggered a nationwide out outrage and a demand for an act that will protect our doctors. But where do the laws stand at the moment? Here's an explainer. The need for a central law then. Now, a study conducted by the Indian Medical Association has shed light on some shocking facts and statistics. Consider this. 75% doctors in India face violence at some point in time in their career. 62.8% of doctors fear violence. 46.3% doctors say violence is the main cause of their stress. In addition to this, there were 22 cases of grievous assault on doctors during 2016 and 2018 and 14 hospital strikes a year against violence on healthcare workers during 2014 and 2019. It was in 2019 that the Healthcare Service Personnel and Clinical Establishments Bill was drafted. According to the draft bill, whoever commits violence against any healthcare professional shall be punished with imprisonment for a term of six months to five years and a fine of 50,000 rupees to five lakh rupees. In cases of causing grievous hurt, the imprisonment would be from three years to ten years with a fine of two lakh rupees to ten lakh rupees. So why was this bill never taken up? The five-year-old draft legislation was framed but never introduced in Parliament. When the pandemic hit in 2020, the Epidemic Diseases Act was amended to give protection to doctors. Now that the pandemic is over, the Epidemic Diseases Act is not in force. Moreover, recently the Supreme Court said laws under the IPC, the Indian Penal Code, already exist. The implementation is the big question here.